This is Mark Andrew, and uh, the song's called Not Cold But Broken. Passed by, 
tune here this one uh i wrote this tune after going out to a uh, chris christopherson merle haggard concert and uh <laughs> they couldn't drink out there but this was one before they got booze out the casino and uh chris christopherson was super sick and had a bad cold uh kind of similar to where i'm at right now but uh he could barely sing man and so merle haggard was helping him out and doing a bunch of stuff and but uh there's something still about chris's writing that even though he sounded like crap still, you know, kind of inspired me to go back and write this tune. So it's kind of an homage to uh, Chris Christopherson. Uh, it's called Song for Chris. So, let me pull up my words so I don't forget it. I'm not a word rememberer. <laughs> Now 
I woke up this morning, I was smelling like cigarettes and beer. Well, I felt I was done driving, so I let the bottle take the wheel and steer. Well, it took me down the road to some old motel. It was all hazy and it felt like hell. The TV didn't work. Wasn't off for watching, just felt like being alone. Frankly, I'm happy I have something worth hanging on. Better to live a life of sorrow than never have to live a life at all. My joy and my misery. All just some symptoms of happiness When the joy is all gone, yes Learn to embrace the pain I sometimes find comfort in things that cause people pain. Like I'm measuring my worth by the amount of misery I gain. And I just feel this motel room as I was from the past. Feeling into this bottle just praying it will last. Holding on to the sad times. Only times that I've ever had Frankly, I'm happy I have something worth hanging on to Better to live a life of sorrow Than to never have to live a life at all My joy and my Good thing about the cold, it makes beer taste better. <laughs> ah, it's another original tune of mine here that I'm hoping to get down on an album relatively soon. <laughs> this one's called Drama. Too many stories, yes, and too many lines Too much to do now with too little time Got nothing left here to say to you, baby, I'm You're just crowding my mind, just crowding my mind Killing me slowly now and getting so lonely now and I think I'm losing my mind.
No writing letters, now confessing your love No more talk like it's planned from above All my emotions see you raging inside My heart is chosen, all my mind must abide Killing me slowly now and I'm getting so lonely now and I think I'm losing my mind Crossed all the lines Give this to you, you say And things will be fine Go read them caps lines Headline news Can't have your cake now And eat it too Killing me slowly now and getting so lonely now and I think I'm losing my mind. Uh, we need uh, we need some McNally interns here to uh, <laughs> to take care of things because I do the best I can for you. Um, once again, Mark Andrew back here on uh, the podcast. Uh, wanted to ask you a couple of questions. That was a really great song, by the way. I I'm, I have a song called Drama as well. Actually. I think we kind of knew that. I, I think it's a, I think it's a common thread in people's yeah. lives. Oh yeah, that's right. I totally great great topic to write about. Mm. Uh, anyway. It just kind of was, you know, when I, I have a couple of kids, so I think about, you know, music at schools and stuff, and I was kind of wondering, you know, where did you get some of your uh, music education from when you were growing up? Right. Well, you know, it's kind of funny. I, I started off playing drums. Yep. Uh, <laughs> my parents bought me a snare drum, and I went to lessons and learned all my rules and, you know, all the timings and learned how to read percussion sheet music and all this fun stuff, right? And then I wanted to join the uh, school band. When, oh God, was it fifth or sixth grade, something like that? Yep. And uh, they wouldn't let me play percussion in the school band because I didn't know how to play piano. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. And it was, and it kind of bummed me out. And uh, I don't know. At th that point, I think my parents were like, "All right, well, he still wants to play, so." Right. That Christmas, I got a guitar. <laughs> okay. So, like, I mean, you're from the famous uh, the Pudis family right. of the Twin Cities here. So you know, really great songwriting family. Mm -hmm. How was that growing up? Were you having brothers and friends always over jamming and stuff? You know, it was pretty wild growing up, you know, cause when, when I first was starting to play guitar, my brother was a bass player uh, in like a little neighborhood band. Matt Pudis was? Matt Pudis was a bass player. <laughs> and not the lead singer either. I could see that for some right? reason. Yeah, and they played like Metallica and all this other stuff, you know. And, sure. Uh, and nice. I, I, so I used to go and listen to those guys jam that stuff out and kind of evolved from that to, you know, my brother being in the, the White Iron Band and, uh, you know, going and seeing their shows and kind of being drawn into that life that they, <laughs> that they lead. <laughs> sure. And, uh, I don't know, I kind of just got attracted to it, got into my own thing, started my own bands in, in, in high school and uh, bounced around a bunch, you know, cause musicians are always hard to yeah. lock down. Oh, God. So, so hard to work with. <laughs> Every one of us. 
Uh, so, I mean, I, you know, I think the biggest, like, I never really found anything, like, institutional that I, that I could grab onto. Um, it was always private guitar lessons. Uh, I took some voice lessons when I was in high school as well. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. for me, I mean, at the time, too, like, I wasn't, I just would go into my guitar teachers and be like, all right, dude, I want to learn how to play this song. I want to learn how to play that song. And, yeah. Uh, the rest of it was kind of just yeah. sitting down listening to records and imitating people. And, it's nice to have um, those teachers who, you know, they want to take into consideration what you like. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, and and <laughs> kind of give you that as well as some lessons. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, uh, let's get back into it. Um, thanks for hanging out again. And uh, yeah, heck yeah. we'll uh, <laughs> hopefully get this up here tomorrow on the YouTube for uh, everyone to see. So thanks, everybody. <laughs> All right, Mark Andrew. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> to do a cover tune here tonight. <laughs> so this is just a tune that I have always been pretty in love with and since the first time I heard it. Uh, but sticking with the, you know, Minnesota theme, uh, this is uh, Charlie Parr, Cheap Wine. Please, 
she'll come around here and he bad she might You know better than hold her once You only come around here and he bad she Message that 
it's bringing Lord, should it be tearing this up apart? They said you gotta come home, girl Your daddy's heart is failing Your mama's dying from the aching Someone's got to watch after the boy There's no use in crying I've never been a one for the goodbye So just tell me you love me So just tell me you love me Well, I swear we'll come visit soon I just gotta find the money When I see you, honey Start thinking about laying me down some new roots Maybe find me a good job All that good life That is if you'd have me There's no use in crying I've never been the one for you Bye So just tell me you love me songs that I've that I've worked on for years and I've had some songs that you know just came out and uh, that was one of those just just kind of you know <laughs> it became it's it became you know it just was will into existence <laughs> I hope you don't mind I just, I just jump in there. oh yeah of okay My chords for songs here. <laughs> oh, so this is a tune that uh, it's called Ooh Wee, and uh, this is actually my most recent single. Uh, you can look it up on the old iTunes on the internets, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool tune. Uh, I don't know what it's about. It's like a love song, but it's uh, yeah, I guess it's a love song. <laughs> if 
Actually, I can tell you what it's about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, so I wrote this tune kind of thinking, you know, like, you get to that point where you're, you've been with somebody for a long time, and some of that passion, or that, some of that, like, you know, the, the initial newness wears off, you know? Sure. And, uh, this is kind of like, you know, one of those things that you kind of be like, all right, let's, let's try something new. Let's do like a, you know, take a trip. Let's go. Let's get, let's get the hell out of here. Right. <laughs> like, let's get out of this place, you know, so. Like, yeah. Sometimes we go to Chili's. Chili's around. Amazing songs that absolutely need to be heard that are from our area and 
you know, it's all about songwriting. I've always, I've always thought it was always about songwriting, but yeah, I mean, it's a number of things, of course, but you know, it's like, uh, anyway, Mark yeah. Andrew, we're happy to have him on the podcast here for our episode number 10. I keep saying number 10, I think every week, because I don't really know for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, do you got any shows coming up this week? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, actually, no, not this week. Oh God! Oh, I forgot all the dates. Ah. <laughs> I hadn't like solidified in my head earlier. Um, you know, all my all my stuff can be found. All my shows can be sure. found on. If you go to, first at the poorhouse. Yeah, we'll be playing March first at the poorhouse for. Uh, there's gonna be a pub crawl out there, so that'll be a, a fun one to go to. Right on. Um, and uh, yeah, then we're playing up at your dad's bar up in. Uh, yeah, we're playing. At a, we're playing at a place called uh, Russell's in Annandale. Mm-hmm. Minnesota. Cool. Yeah. That's going to be on uh, Fe- February 8th, Saturday, February 8th at uh, Russell's Bar in Annandale. It's like, there, what, what there's, no, it? ch- there's no cover. Is it rich, Rich's, Rich's Bar and Grill at Russell's? Rich's or at Russell's. Russell's <laughs> Bar and Grill at Rich's. Something one of those two. Right on. uh, yeah, it's a fun name. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's a, that's a, a, you know, you can always go on Facebook. It's, uh, I believe it's Mark Andrew. Or Mark Andrew official. Mark you Andrew know, official. So you just search for me. Type me into Google. I'll pop up. Cool. We'll put this link on the show. Yeah, on yeah. On your website. Too. And then you can also go to uh, www.com or dot com. www dot official dot com, and uh, that has you know everything listed as well. Cool. Or I'm also on Reverb Nation. You know, all over the place there. So there's there's ways to find me. Um, yeah, and there's some, you know, Reverb Nation, you can stream a bunch of live music there, too. That's really, I love that site. Um, you know, got a lot of people contacting me, or find, like, who've all heard my music or something. And, For sure. Uh, so that's a, that's a fun one. I wish Facebook let you stream music, those bastards. Uh. So, all right, well, I'm going to do a couple more here. Cool. This is another one I want to put on an album. Oh, money. It's called Stop. When your mind is moving but no mind a minute And your heart starts to skip a beat Tripping on your own feet I'll tell you to stop Oh yeah In just a minute I got something for you, babe I'm gonna tell you to stop Oh yeah, not for just a minute I got something to say I've been saying Oh mm, yeah, now So why you gotta move so fast
Play pressure. 